If you need to figure out the difference in electronegativity between sodium and oxygen, here's how you do it. So on the periodic table, we can see that we have each element with its electronegativity values. Probably the easiest way to think about this is fluorine is the most. So when we go across towards fluorine here or up towards fluorine, the electronegativity values increase. So if we look at oxygen right here, that's right next to fluorine. Sodium's way over here. Oxygen is going to be more electronegative. And you don't even need the numbers to figure that out. It's right next to fluorine. So that's one way to do it. The other way is if you do have these values, you can subtract. So 3.44 minus 0 0.93, that's 2.51. That's a pretty big difference. And when we have a difference over 2, we can say that when sodium and oxygen, when they bond together, we're going to have an ionic bond. And that's because the difference in electronegativity is over 2. You could also say you have a non-metal here on this side and a metal. That should give us ionic as well. But in answer to our question, the difference in electronegativity between sodium and oxygen, 2.51. That makes us an ionic bond. And oxygen is more electronegative. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.